Well, a warning to visitors at Zion National Park is a dangerous toxic algal bloom continues to spread there. Park officials are asking visitors to avoid all contact with the Virgin River until further notice. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Katie Corrales reports. A hike through the narrow Zion's world famous river hike may sound irresistible in triple digit heat. Beautiful, certainly, but in some cases deadly. When you undertake this hike, you are now committing to wading through water affected by harmful cyanobacteria. It's what poisoned and killed this five month old husky in early July within minutes. It was snapping at it and potentially ate some of the algae. Um, and that's what triggered us to start testing and looking for this in the water. Zion's researchers have detected a potent cyanotoxin called anatoxin A at extreme levels. Several sample results came back with anatoxin A concentrations greater than 550 micrograms per liter. That's more than six times the state's recommended threshold for a danger advisory. So the primary thing right now is to keep from ingesting, that means drinking the water or getting it in your nose or mouth. Um, this is a relatively new toxin for this part of the country. Um, so it's something we're still learning a lot about. Park officials say they don't know as much about possible impacts through intact skin, but getting it in your nose, mouth, and eyes is the most hazardous pathway by swimming or submerging into contaminated water. This poisoning is especially harmful to children and pets, impacting the nervous system with symptoms that range from skin rashes to seizures and vomiting. And although the park has not closed the river, rangers recommend avoiding this risk altogether by simply not entering the water. In Zion National Park, Katie Kralis, ABC4.